Hi guys. Today I'm going to go over Robbery Story Part 1. That's what we're going to call this, I think. Now I know of three to four robbery stories, and I know the complete whole details. Because I played poker with these guys for eight years, and a lot of them were one of my dad's friends or partners or whatever. And these are poker games that I play at. So, I told you my story, so I'm going to tell you what almost happened to me. I mean, as close as you can get to being having to go through this shit again. So, Tampa, Florida this time. There's a game. If any of you know where the Tampa Fairgrounds are, I would say it's within a thousand yards from there. And that's the closest detail I'm going to give you. You know, that should be enough. Now, I'm only going to be able to do one story at a time, so we only get ten fucking minutes, whatever. Now, I don't know what it is about locked doors, but people think they're safe with bolted, you know, double bolted, whatever. No. Not true. <coughs> so, now I'm going to go into detail. When you walk up to this, it's a glass door. And it has a bolt lock. And there's a security camera right up top looking at you, looking down at your face. And it's a night camera too. It can see everything at night. And it was nighttime when this happened. And right next to the door, I mean, a yard from the door is some bushes. Probably five foot bushes. Only, you know, two of me, three of me wide maybe. So, it's probably 10.30 at night, and uh, so a friend of mine, a poker player, they call him Cornbread, so for my calling. I've known him for eight years now, and uh, Cornbread was let out the door. He just uh, won $4,000. This is a really high stakes poker game. I mean, I've seen a half a million dollars and played there with a half million dollars. Luckily, it was a smaller game that night, and uh, they didn't have a shitload of money out that night. So, um, like I said, uh, Cornbread goes to walk out the door, somebody lets him out, and as soon as he opens that door and starts walking out, you're looking down a barrel of a shotgun by three niggers wearing ski masks. Yeah. That's fucking deadly. So one of them grabs him and takes him outside, and the other two rush in there. But here's the deal: in this place, when you walk in there, there's a uh, uh, a key keypad door, and you have to push in the numbers, whatever the code is, and it has a bolt that opens and locks, bolted door, whenever you put in the keypad. And inside that door, when you get through that keypad door, is where the game is. And uh, and and there's actually more to it. When you if you wanted to run out the back, you can. And there's another keypad door, and then another door bolted lock. So you know it's pretty safe, but it ain't that fucking safe. And there's three cameras in the whole place. Outside, there's uh, one at the front door, two in the back. No, I'm sorry, two in the front door, one in the back. So. Uh, you know, they get in there and you know, then you see this fucking keypad door, what do you do? So, here's what they did. They took their fucking boot shoes and busted that motherfucker through. I don't know what it is about people with bolted doors if they, you know, they think they're safe. That right there just proves it's not safe. Kind of like if you, you know, your child locks itself in the door if you have children and I'm not coming out. Don't make me break this door down. I know some of us have been there. I don't have any kids, but, you know, I've heard it before. So, you're not that safe behind a bolted door. This is two bolted doors. And then two in the back. Now, the, uh, the, the guy running the game, there's two of them, they both saw it on the camera as they were coming in, and they ran out the back. And here's the biggest mistake they made. They ran out the back and called the cops. Yeah, that's right. They called the cops. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I'm fucking idiot. So, um, 
Let's see. After that, and they busted down the, the second bolted door and come in there with shotguns and ski masks. And there was three of them. And, uh, you know, they're cussing everybody. And one guy there had a gun on him. Now, they took that gun away from him. I don't know if they knew he had it. I don't know if he went to draw and, you know, they put that barrel down in his fucking face and he stopped and took it from him. You know. But I don't, I don't even think it was, I don't know, maybe like a 380 or some shit. It's not three shotguns. How are you going to kill all three of them if there's one guy with a gun? I don't know. I think it was an ignorant move. Who knows? Might not have been. So, they probably got, I'm going to tell you about the guy outside in a minute. They probably got uh, maybe 30 grand, 25 grand cash. Not a lot for that game. I mean, I've seen hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, I mean, you know, 10, 10 minutes work, 5 minutes work, yeah, I guess that's a good job for them. What the fuck ever. And I hate people like this. Who has the balls to do some shit like this and put a human being through something like that. Ignorant. Now, um, so, the guy, you know, they're, of course, going to run their fucking mouth to everybody. Kill y'all, we don't give a fuck. You better give us the money. You know, and everybody did. I mean, you know, fuck it, here, take it. You know, I agree, take it, I okay. I mean, they probably got a fucking shitload of money if they can come in there and play with, you know, 400 grand on the table. So what's uh, 30 grand for everybody? Nothing. Take it. Now, the guy outside, I talked to him about the whole situation, too. What happened outside? He told me the guy was talking real calm to him, and that's what scared him. You know, give me the money. I don't want to have to kill you. And he, and he pleaded for his life. He said, I got a family. You know, I got a wife. Don't don't kill me, man. I mean, uh, you know, I'll do what you want. Don't don't kill me. So the guy took his phone. And by the way, they all took everybody's phone. You know, and, you know, except for the guys that ran out the back. Of course, they didn't know they were there. But they took everybody's phone that was there. So I guess so you can't call the cops or you know whatever. But too bad the cops were on the way. I'll get to that in a minute. So the guy outside. He, he gave him the four grand he just won and whatever else was in his pocket, maybe another thousand dollars, whatever. And uh, he, uh, after the guy left him alone and, you know, got in the truck whenever the other two guys come out and they bailed, uh, apparently he went to his truck a little bit after that and he found his phone in the back of his truck, in the bed. I guess the dude threw it in the back of his truck just because he wouldn't want to be an ass. You gotta be a fucking cock smoker to go put a gun in someone's face. That's fucked up. When they didn't do shit. So, of course, 45 minutes. I mean, 45 minutes later, here comes the cops. What good is that? They were gone in five minutes, maybe three and a half minutes. So, then you gotta explain it to them and, you know, go through the whole steps. Anyways, this is a poker game. They didn't give a fuck. Who cares? Yeah, I know. So, uh,. You know, this is an in-depth story about it, but that just shows you cameras, bolted doors, all that. You're not really safe. Not really. So don't think when you lay your head down at night and the doors are locked that you're completely safe. Hell no, you're not. That shows you right there you're not. They, they could even probably put that shotgun up to the bolt and shoot that motherfucker off. I'd imagine. With the right loading, yeah, probably one out slug will take it out. So, uh, I have a lot more stories. I'm going to get to them in the future, but tomorrow I have uh, get a wisdom tooth pulled, so I doubt I'm going to be on here for a couple of days if you haven't seen me. Anyways, no one got hurt, and uh, actually, this is what I want to tell you. I was on my way to this game, and my dad called me and said, don't go today, because he was a partner in that game and was overseas doing some shit, so I was that close to being in another one. I mean, that that close. That's all it took. I mean, I was on my way, and I got a, a quarter of the way there, and he called me and said, don't go today, just go some other time. I mean, you know, shit like that, a blessing in the sky. All right, guys, appreciate it. Let me know what you think.